Ciao guys and welcome to another video with Lempis. Um, just want to show you my experience, my tips on how to have like a stretch mark free pregnancy. I'm now currently in my 10th month, that means I'm already way past 38 weeks. I'm just waiting any time for the baby to appear and I'm telling you my belly is still stretch marks free. Stretch marks is a problem that I think affect about 90% of pregnant women. And the moment I knew I was pregnant, I think I was just a month pregnant or two and I was already thinking, oh my goodness, oh, stretch marks, stretch mark. And that's the time that you don't even have like a, a bump, like your belly is just normal, flat, as if you're not even expecting. But it comes to your mind because you know it really affects a lot of people and you just want to make sure that you're doing everything possible to avoid or to reduce the occurrence or to prevent the occurrence of stretch marks. Now this is of course common during pregnancy because your body is especially the stomach part is going to be really over over stretched and sometimes the inner layers of the skin tears and this is what leads actually to stretch marks already stretch marks on my thighs and around the hip area and that is let me say for about five years now since i noticed that so when i got pregnant i was really freaking out about just the whole like i'm going to develop probably a whole lot of stretch marks around the you know like around the belly because i already have stretch marks and i usually i didn't have any like major weight gain or weight loss but i have i have stretch marks anyways number one that i think contribute just a disclaimer because obviously people are different and the number one characteristic i would say is always the genotype of different individuals maybe some individuals have just genotypes that involve more elasticity and eventually do not need to stretch mark in whatever condition, even during pregnancy. And then some genotypes are maybe more prone to stretch marks. Now, let's put that aside. Phenotypes, everything else that you can do also contribute a lot. When it comes to my experience, I started uh, already doing a little bit of research about stretch marks or concerned about stretch mark early on during the pregnancy and I would say before the end of the first trimester I've already started preparing my body especially around the tummy area but this time I was also extending it just around also everything I was applying up to the thighs and the hips because I have stretch marks there. During pregnancy stretch marks are quite preventable. What I have noticed is that you cannot prevent stretch mark postpartum because I think once the baby is out and the tummy shrinks, you definitely need to have stretch marks. So that that's not what we are talking about here. We are really talking about pregnancy up to the 40th week after the baby is delivered being stretch mark free. I thought of not buying anything specific for that, rather just go online and search for what leads to it or how what do I really need to have in my ingredient especially whatever I'm using that will reduce that will increase skin elasticity and eventually reduce um, stretch marks my number one life-changing product is argan oil this thing is life-changing I bought this during the towards the end of the second trimester and I've been using since then intensively so this bottle is already quite empty it's empty almost empty i think i need to put in a new order next week because i would also want to use it postpartum argan oil has a lot of vitamin e and what is good about vitamin e it 
helps the skin cells to absorb or to retain moisture and then eventually increase skin elasticity and this is why i thought when i came across this information online and i already had argan oil i just thought okay good i'm going to try it and for me it was working very well i thought i'm going to keep it and it it does actually work it's simple a bottle like this cost this is about <laughs> i can't find where is the it's about 250 ml and I think it costs maybe about 20 euros I can't remember I bought this directly from Amazon but it's very good I've been using it also for my hair I've made a video before where I shifted towards argan oil for hair growth and and healthy hair promotion but for the skin as well so this is good for stretch marks what I have noticed while I'm using this is that I do not only achieve um, stretch mark free pregnancy, I also have noticed a significant reduction on my stretch mark that I've already been there for the past five years on my hips and thighs. So I think it's really good. I use this three times a day in the morning, somewhere in the afternoon and also in the evening before I go to bed. Now the downside of this is that if you're using it in the evening, your bed is going to your bed sheets are really going to be messy. So, if you have like really nice white cream bed, bed sheets, they're going to be a mess. Like you literally need to change them every single day. Otherwise, just shift to other colors like maybe something orange, more brown, more yellow, that you can still stand at least two or three days before you change it. I have that. I have only been using honestly two different kind of products. What I've been using from the beginning, this is really from the very beginning to improve skin elasticity, to also just prepare the skin to stretch smoothly and to make sure that the skin is moisturized as shea butter. I have 100% pure organic shea butter. I don't know if you can see that, I'll probably bring it a little bit closer. I bought this as unrefined shea butter from Amazon. Before I was pregnant, I used to buy this on my hair, but now I only bought this, I think, pretty much mid first trimester. And I've been using since then, also three times a day for moisturizing, again, the breast area, the tummy, and the thighs and the hips. It's also, shea butter has a lot of moisturizing effect and I think it also has a lot of vitamin A. I'm not sure, but I, I started using it because I've seen it already from videos from people maybe from Central Africa where shea butter is produced traditionally and just how they use it a lot for preventing aging, formation of uh, wrinkles under the eye and keeping the skin smooth and moisturized stretch mark. And most of the product that you also find on the market, they have also most of the moisturizers that are made for stretch mark also have shea butter the thing is shea butter is quite strong like it has a strong smell i was lucky i was in home office throughout my pregnancy time like we got i didn't go to the office or to work since october last year been already in home office and it was not a problem to put on shea butter every single day just waking up because I did not have to meet any client or any co-worker I would just sit at my desk ignore the bad smell of shea butter and continue working now if you're going to work I would understand that you not want to put on shea butter every single day unless if you look for the refined one there were days where I needed to leave the house maybe go to the doctor's appointment or get something done outside the house then I would rather apply shea um, argan oil when I just needed to stay at home shea butter because I think it moisturizes better and I think my I don't know I just feel like my skin is more moisturized when I apply this than when I apply the oil because the oil is a little bit lighter consistency but yeah this too I think alone would help you See, this is like a kilo and I bought it mid first trimester and at the moment I would say it's only like uh, 
250 grams left so I've been using that much shea butter every single day trying to keep my belly moisturized so I can avoid or reduce stretch mark and I would show you just in a minute I do not have any stretch mark on my belly at the moment and that is beautiful I'm grateful for that if you enjoyed this video give me a like subscribe to our channel and see you in our next video I have to go as fast as possible because I can hear a lot of noise in the background I think Ali's doing construction as usual ciao ciao ciao